but you also. Um, you are probably the dwarf that I saw before inside the keep, right? I emptied out my stores, blasting those dark spawn. Once we're done with repairs, we should talk. All right. Indeed, you are that war with your explosives, but you are... You did empty all of your uh, explosives in that attack. I get it. So, mage, huh? What's it like? To have all this power at my fingertips. No, to always have to wear a skirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't know the story behind the robes. You know how strict things are in the circle, right? Well, of course you do. Yeah. Well, robes make quick trysts in the corner easy. No laces or buttons, you're just... Well, you're done before the Templars catch on. Really? Just ask anyone. <laughs> really? Ah... Uh... Yes, certainly. Search and Marvelese. Hmm. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still darkspawn in the vigil. Yeah, well, I will definitely keep an eye out. The captain didn't mention anything about that. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Makes sense. <laughs> I should be good with in digging too, considering I'm a dwarf, I guess, in some sense, but sadly not. I'm good at getting darkspawn, but not at the digging part. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Okay. I of course. don't want to go there yet, but certainly we should do that. Going. Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? I don't know. Aren't all humans? <laughs> that's a good response in all honesty. But I think that's more fitting for our elf. It's just a statue though. Sure, but Andraste was a real person once. Before she up and married the Maker, I mean. What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil? That's a good question. Mm. Sure, she was fighting against the mages, but she was fighting fighting against the Imperium, Tevinter Imperium, which just happened to be ruled by mages, but doesn't mean that she otherwise would have been hating on mages. It was just the Imperium itself. I don't know much about human religion, to be honest, even though I've been hearing about it, but I don't know if I'm the best person to comment on, on it. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker, but the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really care for the Circle Tower. Like, I guess it's a good, okay place with the idea of teaching mages. But the idea of having to not being able to free to ever leave and stuff. But it's good that like there's uh, teaching the power to control your power because a mage does have a lot of power. But sure, mages can be dangerous if you're they're your enemy. But uh, that's. But but I even I'm pretty sure I was thinking about like a little bit like a golden gauge considering it doesn't seem like it would be something I would want to be getting stuck in for sure so yeah I don't really believe in the Chantry stocks anyway so in that sense I completely agree that's so sweet of you I'm all a tingle oh well she's still quite a looker for a prophet I'm just saying okay at least I, someone approves of me, even though I all the time. I know I made kind of a bad joke originally, but it was just a it was just a weird thing, Ocran, that you believed into some house uh, pants, pant demons, almost like. So, 
I was so tempted to say they're not real, but on the other hand, at the same time, I was, but that's too, too good about <laughs> just going and trying to continue with the, what makes it so, yeah. Okay, that's a dungeon, so I shouldn't go there yet, I'd say. Well, I don't want to go yet, because I haven't talked to even remotely all the people in here. Waltrick Klavonok. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if someone built this in Orsamar, they'd be flocked, that is true. This is uh, definitely not uh, similar, but of course the place is overall different. Aye. I'm surprised half the buildings in Ferelden haven't fallen over from a stiff breeze. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours, but I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? <laughs> Ah, uh, I might regret this, but what would it take to rebuild it right? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. Right. So, what do you think? Would ache the sovereigns do? I can raise that much in time. I hope. Don't take too long about it. It'll take a while to rebuild, and the Darkspawn aren't patient. I really... Surfacer Dwarfs. <laughs> Cost of doing business. Surfacer Dwarfs. I'm one basically now, too. Cloud Gazer, Stone Blind, Skyer. These are how Dwarfs describe their Surfacer Cousins. It's traditional to snore these words with disdain. Dane, a dwarf who goes topside for fates his caste, his house, and the favor of his ancestors. Once he sets foot on the surface, he is no longer welcome in awesome or other than I am, at least. Still, in recent years, a great many dwarves have moved to the surface. Some are castless and have nothing to lose. Others believe they have something to gain. Some think it's only a matter of time before Orsama falls to the dark spawn. Then there are the merchant cast wars with their flightful flair for business. I met one who nearly talked me into buying my own hat. I dare say most merchants don't give a knock at about losing their caste or the f favor of their ancestors. Not the way they are compensated. Hmm, Brother Jenny Divi. Alright, you guys there? What happened? Where did all the bloody darkspawn come from? I don't know. Just called back by the captain myself. All those Orlesians dead. And just taste blood. If the Darkspawn have numbers enough to ambush the vigil. Okay, so you guys are the ones that have been outside patrolling and are now back. The vigil's been sacked and rebuilt dozens of times. We'll recover from the attack. I hope so. The vigil will endure, Commander. That's what you say to me. You were seemed very scared before, at least. However... Eh, no. Don't even know where that would lead. Ah, just world map. Gotcha. This isn't world map yet. So let's go and explore here. Warden's Recruit Shield. Well, it seems that I do need all the money I can get if I want to be able to even make this more of a dwarven stronghold. Kitten. Suspicious. It looks like that demon before. With the child. Hungry little fella. I can't... I can't just leave it. I am afraid it's a demon though. It looks so much like that demon. I do wonder where the heck my dog is, by the way. I rescued the dog. Surely Ben should have come at least with me. I, I understand most others wouldn't, but surely Ben should have. Ah, take the cat with you. I guess I left him with Alistair then. <coughs> Item received. A cat. Kitten. An adorable tabby kitten. I wonder who would love to have a kitten as a gift. Aww. Eh. 
lucky then. All right. Can't talk to you, fella. Not much over in this way, it seems. Huh. But after exploring this location, I'd say definitely at least that I should be going next to clear the dungeons from Darkspawn because it just seems like the logical thing to do or like it's the biggest danger if there's still Darkspawn left there, right? At least that's my idea, my way of thinking. You have time to talk about the Darkspawn in the vigil? Yep. Let me explain. Some in time they may dig their way out. Whenever you're ready, let's go then. The base. Straight away, sir. It just seems like something that I should do immediately, even if maybe it's not, but I think it is. I feel it is. Here we are. The vigil goes deep, real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. Yeah. Have the men cleared the rubble? You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? True. We'll be back here. You couldn't pay me enough to be a warden. Charging off into dark basements like that. Ooh. Well, good thing that you're not then. But at least I would assume that this isn't absolutely ridiculously huge. But maybe it is. This was supposed to go really deep. So in that sense, then it's maybe it wasn't the right thing to do come into here right now. I don't know. It's so difficult to know at this point when... Well... Hmm... Well, it can't be the end, right? What was that? It comes from beneath. Search in Marvel Reports. Possible pockets of dark more beneath the vigil. You can ask Marvel to escort you and from the basement. What? 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 You were staring at me, you man skirt wearing freak. Oh, I thought you were being attacked by a wild animal. It was only your beard. You think you're so <laughs> clever, don't you? Sparkle fingers. What name calling you guys share? You guys are strange. Hmm, statute. All right. There is a lot of statues here, to be honest. There's like these dragon-like statues and then... I guess like maybe druids. Nonetheless, like wearing the bear sort of thing and then otherwise warriors. Very strange room to begin with. <gasps> Mabari. This Mabari seems greatly distressed. Her fur fur is patchy and caked with dirt and blood. I don't think anyone actually has survival now. Inspect the dock. You find a small scroll bound to the dock. Take the scroll. A woman named Adria writes that she has taken refuge in the lower levels of the keep. Ah, and sent this map right there. Then up here. Ah, can... I guess I don't know if we can even try to save the dock then anymore. Oh well. The Great Strife. Sure, were an inscription deep in the bowels of Vigil Keep tell of a Avar clan that settled here, with our warriors unmatched in skill and strength, and here we settled in the caves guard by the hand of Korath, the Mountain Father. Okay, interesting. Certainly intriguing. That's a lot of baddies. Big baddies, too, at that. Let's see, what's the thing I would like to do? Well, this is of course good, but it kind of takes a little bit of a while to do. So, it's not necessarily the very best. Okren, come along. Where do I go? Let's activate momentum. 
come here. And then we could try to activate maybe the coast, considering they're pretty much all hitting us otherwise. At least try and do that is. Actually, this should be over here anyways, considering. Definitely shouldn't be there as a spell. Otherwise, it would be confusing to me. Like that. That won't stop me! There we go. At least a few are dead. And uh, you indeed have activated your arcane shield already. Which is fine for now. I just wish we won't be getting com uh, talks while you have it, basically. Prisoner records a wine cellar. Well, wine cellar it is. Letter. Alright. Let's heal something. Yes. I guess, like, a response from Rendell Howe. Low one. We cannot afford an insurrection. Put any troublemakers in chains. Do whatever it takes to weed them out. Whatever it takes, low one. Do not fail me. On the all random half. <sighs> Always the best person ever in this whole wide world. Yeah, we will be needing a lot of a lot of a lot of goddamn cash. So yeah. That's gonna be the problem part. Trying to gather all of that money that we require. That seems to be a short area. They scared me. Oh, Gren, you could try to do maybe this one first. Oh yeah, it was the yeah damage to everyone around you and stuff. You can heal, Okren. Okay, cool, yo. Sadly, you used all of your stamina pretty much already then. Do a dual hand sweep. Actually, you don't even need this. That guy's already almost dead anyways. Good job, everyone. We destroyed them. You gain a level up. Have one more, at least, of the willpower and then that, so they're kind of nicely even and all that. Hmm. Here, I just don't know. Don't know what I would want. Uh, you could have the survivalism. I so feel bad that I didn't use the survivalism, considering the dog may die now, but... On the other hand, you can also take this... Now, nah, let's take this first, so less chances of being interrupted, nonetheless. All members of the party. Hmm. What else would I like to do with you? I do like a lot of fireball, but... Do you have all of these options? So many options, so difficult to choose what to take. <laughs> mm, I could take also these, the clips. Or some other way to neutralize spellcasters could be also cool. Mass origination. In some sense, I would like to just uh, take everything to the max that we have already started with, but... Sure, let's take at least this, considering we will be needing then uh, 52 magic and... But this is even a passive. The mage has become more attuned to surrounding magical energies, gaining bonuses to willpower, magic and mana regeneration. I think that's cool. So let's take this elemental mastery first. So then we can go and take that stuff. Elemental mastery though does seem like it would be good to be close to that stuff. Just that... 
if I want to be those again then moving everything around just a little teeny tiny bit so we can get a little bit of that separation there because that elemental mastery does seem fitting with these things maybe even the uh, other way around have anything here okay shrine to untrust the interesting actual shrine here book The Great Strive, Vern inscription deep in the powers of Vigil's Keep, tell of Avar clan that settled here. With our warriors on match in skill and strength, and here we settled in the caves, uh, in the case guard by the hand of the court, the mountain father, we heard that already actually. So Rodan, shaman of the people, turned from the gods who had ever sheltered him. In his grief, he destroyed the gates of the mountain father and brought us low. Okay, interesting. Book. House of Aramontine. The House of Ar Amarantine are one of the oldest noble families in Ferelden. Their lineage traces to the times of Kalenhard when Elias Howe was one of the first freeholders to follow Kalenhard. During the occupation, Arl Tardalon Howe, Rendon Howe's father, threw his lot in with the Orleans. After several bitter battles with rebels, the town of Harper's Ford, an outpost governed by Tarleton Howe, fell to the Kuslans of Hyever. Tarleton hanged. Rendon brought the whole family over to the side of Marik Therin and Locaine MacTier's rebellion. Rendon's bravery at the Battle of White River, fighting alongside Price Kusland, earned back his family's honor. When King Marik took the throne in Free Ferelden, Rendon Howe was decorated for his service. Yeah, but then at the end of the day he had still, or at least Howe did indeed have quite of a bit, well, against the High Ever slash Kuslands, clearly. Going. A small plague reads, Untrusted was painted in fire before the maker's eyes. Painted in fire, you say? Well, how do I have a firebomb? <laughs> I basically feel that if I have a firebomb, because fire trap wouldn't work. If I could make a bomb, now that could maybe work. Fire bomb. Because sadly, I don't really have fire spells with you, so maybe with this I can bait her in fire. All right. Oh, torch. Maybe that works. <laughs> All right. Well, wasn't the best, but oh well. Superb help bottle us. Oh, that's even better than anything I've had or seen before. Tingler. Health regeneration and healing effects received positive. Nice. The title is on Tivian or maybe never unsaleable, but not uniquely noteworthy. Well, we shall take all of it for certainty. And uh, maybe I could give Okren a new ring. Tingler. Yeah, I think it's at least way better than the Ring of Resistances. So Ring of Warrior and Tingler. Lots more health regeneration and all that. Of course, we could also give the Life Giver at the moment because no one else is using it. But it just doesn't feel right for Okren, you know. So, I guess that was all. I just thought that literally throwing a firebomb at him or casting a fire spell, but now a torch. Well, it does have also some fire. <laughs> Prisoner cools. Uh, sad times that these prisoners had to be all in here. At least not all of them are, well, transformed. But a lot of them are. Which is very unfortunate. You can try to do that in there. Not that it will probably work out very well, considering they are rushing into here, but... Try. 
Do the dual strike. Do that. Then try to do that. Plus that was fun, even though it did use a lot of stamina. So in that sense, definitely would have use for stamina too. Well, there's a few people alive. Which is good for them. Delilah's Hove's letter. Correspondence between Delilah Hove and a friend in dinner and provided great insight into Delilah's recent life. Interesting. Uh, it is a shame though that I don't have any gifts on the main game anymore, but that's how it is. Could be useful here too for people's. Should have bought some more, maybe. Something. But I did buy pretty much all, but. It's also used most of them then. Hello, you. Oh, thank the maker. Please let us out. Uh, it's more dangerous out here for the moment. Really? Maybe we'll just stay here. Rotting bodies don't smell half as bad as the food they give us. Well, at the moment it is more dangerous, but I would like to free them just in a moment, for sure we is, because we can't just leave them here. Um, I guess I should load quickly then, because I don't... I feel bad of just saying that, and just leaving them there completely forever, and all that. Uh, I guess I didn't even go that far yet, yeah. Well, I have to do just that one battle again, that's not too big of a deal. <laughs> Still, would have felt bad to just, well, you know. <laughs> oh, Cran. Well, I can't move you right now. I'm trying to cast this, but he doesn't want to for some reason or another. I don't quite know why. Yeah, let's just loot this quickly again. And, uh, yeah. Then I shall save, then I guess I'll just look around a little bit first and then I let them go. Like sure they are prisoners, but I don't know for what reason. Were they still host prisoners or are they actually our prisoners? But still I wouldn't want to be leaving anyone into here. Uh Avar Crypt. Guess we could try to visit right. here first. Then we talk to them. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to mess with dead people? I don't know. Not really. Completely collapsed room. That's a lot of sacrifices of all sort of people. Well, ready to Hmm. Can you do that there? Oh, that's not nice. That they're going to our friend here. At least he managed to do the blizzard. So that's better. At least. Do that, mayhaps. Okay. Sure, let's do a decoy quickly. Detected, detected. I don't know what that means <laughs> in this situation. Well, there's a decoy at least, yeah. Um, actually, like, you and you go away for a moment and let him at least do something good. Because it seems a little bit silly to go all the way there when there's so many in the line here. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Kind of a mess. Having to so slowly try to get into here. Whoops. Is that all my blood? I think it is. Indeed, I think it was. Alright. I guess we killed them all, at least for the moment and time being. I at least assume I should be able to talk to the uh, people upstairs as in the prisoners after this too. And I'm off. On the Avars who lived here, some more about them. Well, this is all the time some more, but I guess yeah, it's continued. So, the darkness drove him to madness, but also gave him power. He turned our warriors against us. Kiveal sought out the dwarves, and together they bound Ruadan in this place. So someone was bound into here. I don't know about going and immediately trying to loot that. I don't know about that. Seems a bit suspicious. Uh, seems a little bit suspicious, of course, that overall that I'm just looting old graves here. Sacrifices, but... Well, they're here, you know? Key of Kiveal. Okay, interesting. On the Avars who lived here, Codex. Again, the same, I guess. I don't have anything for these, I guess, at the moment anyway, so I couldn't do anything with them, no matter if I wanted to or not. Which works for me, I guess, for the moment, and I would just need to come back into here. Right. Hakon. Court. Oh, is that about the the actual things that we've been reading? I guess they are about these things. Because they mentioned Kiveal and all of these names, so maybe it's a certain order we have to do it in. Hove's bow, on the other hand. Interesting. A good but immaculate bow stamped with the Hove's crest. Are we gonna find someone from the Hove's family that is gonna actually join us? This is all starting to go into that direction that I feel it must be the case. Like maybe the person down here that sent the Mapari Hound is actually his daughter or something. Right. That would be interesting twist. Just considering we're getting so many gifts of house, it's just like, who would want all of these how related gifts? Well, probably someone who would actually belong to that family, which would seem reasonable too, considering like... There's plenty, like, good people in the house, I'm sure. Any who's... We only have three. Court, the Mountain Father, Ruadan, and Kiveal. So Court would regardlessly be first. But that would be that one. So, I guess I can quickly try if this would work out with the minimal information we have. But it just doesn't feel right. Court. We have only the lady anyways in here. And Hakon doesn't ring a bell to me. Court was mentioned here, yes. But this was the mountain father, Ruadan. So it would have to be the Hakon, right? Because the lady is the lady. It can't be a mountain father, right? Unless that's my assumption. Hakon and then it would have to be the Kiveal and then the lady. Most likely incorrect, however. Oh. That's the first one I'm supposed to press, the Kiveal, clearly. Because it actually unlocked. Or I got the key for that, right? I had one key. Yeah, it's it's not going away. But I only have one key. Cool, cool. Now I know for sure. At least uh, that, that place has been slightly explored. Okay, let's free these prisoners. I was just thinking that maybe there's some more stuff that we could talk oh, with them. Oh, thank the maker. Please let us out. You're free, run upstairs. Quick, before more of those things come. And there's also a proofs. 
But yeah, I was just I just was thinking that I could say that I'll free you a little later, but that was not an option be uh, after I said the other one. So that was the uh, thing that just didn't then feel right to just do that. Okay, well. She couldn't have shown us the courtesy of waiting a bit longer before becoming a ghoul. Well, that's very unfortunate. Andrea the Cool. And yeah, his uh, arcane shield is really... <sighs> I would like the idea of using it. But the problem is that when that's all the time going on and happening, that it's just... In those conversations, so ridiculous looking, it's just not really fun. But that's a shame. She is then also dead. Time to kill. You could give me some stamina regeneration. And then some healings. Ah, well. Quest completed. You were unable to rescue Andrea. She had turned into cool long before you arrived. Very right. unfortunate, however. That's a lot of spell power from that. Ah, very or That's at least good. We actually found some ore for the uh, smith yes. of ours. Gold earring, also a gift. Hmm. Letter to Rendon Howe. My lord Howe. Some of the men are not pleased with your plan. They will incite others against you. For the plan to succeed, our forces must be united. If words get out, if even one of them in famous Kuslans, it will be your head on a plate. I say this with all due respect, sir, your Captain Lowan. Yeah, but he just really hated Kuslans. He really did. But yeah, sad times. It does seem that there's... Even more. Yeah, this goes actually to the. You murdered a slew of darkspawn there. I. Well, you hear the stories about you and the wardens. But to see it firsthand. You didn't really see it, right? It's what we do, though. Well, I'm impressed. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. Yeah, have a feeling like that. So the darkspawn came from below. Aye, the Elysian lads would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And Draste's blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. Sure. Let me know as soon as you clear the passage. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Good. So let's go back to the keep for the moment. Of course. All right. So we cleared at least a little bit. The ones that are where the closest. And I don't think we want to immediately... You're quite a dirty little dwarf, aren't you? You're quite a dirty <laughs> little mage. I do my best. Still, I'm no ale-swilling mountain of belches like you. And I'm no winking, slack-jawed coward like you. True. We should form a club. You really... <laughs> they really hate each other, as according to that, at least. Oh, hey, Ren, I found you some good stuff. You're back. You need anything? I found an ore deposit. Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. 
Viridium. Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. You'll have your guards. My men need better gear. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? Helen, you abuse me so. It's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine. I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. Well, you know me. If someone's gonna be able to get you a challenge, it's me, right? No, no fears about that. I'm sure you'll get your challenge, at least eventually. I guess that's pretty okay then. I guess next time I could even go and get that stuff or maybe we'll go actually properly to the outside world or something. But I think this is an okay place to end for the moment and time being. So I hope you guys enjoyed some more of the Draconate's Awakening and I'll see you for more then next time. So thank you for watching. See you then. Bye bye. To be continued with Kiderusha next time in Dragon Age.